before you start any brake job, uh, let's say you're installing brake pads or brake rotors, you want to remove the reservoir cap. What happens is if you have a brake fluid below the recommended line, that only indicates your brake pads have worn out quite a lot and the caliper piston has pushed out. And behind the kit piston, all this fluid has been taking place, right? So if someone starts to add fluid, knowing the fluid is low, right, um, and then go later on and replace your brake pads, when you push the caliper piston back in, all that fluid, the extra fluid you poured in, is going to start to pour out. So number one indication when your brake fluid, brake fluid is lower than the recommended value means your brake pads are wearing out. The lower it is, the more they have worn out. That's one way to detect how bad your brake pads are if you can't look at them. So do not add brake fluid. When it becomes a quarter or less, honestly, this is the time you should replace your brake pads. And after you brake, replace the brake pads, you press all four calipers back in, install new brake pads. This fluid will come back to the recommended level. That is guarantee. Unless you had a leak, and of course you can see it on the floor, that's a different story. But if all the system is airtight and you don't see any issue, this is your number one indication of how bad your brake pads are based on the lower the level of your brake fluid. I hope this helps. Uh, I'm going to do a brake job on this truck, so I will make a video. I'm also changing a rear caliper. So you can see a uh, small process brake pad replacement is not that complicated on these things. I removed all the lug nuts. Take the wheel out. Here are the brakes. So the rotors look pretty decent. The pads, however, are very low. So what we'll be doing at this point, I'll be removing this bolt. All right, so we got the caliper uh, loosened up. We're going to open both of the bolts back here. There's one at the bottom here, one at the top here. So you're going to open them. Once you get all the bolts out, you're going to pull the top of the caliper this way because bottom is the one that locks in here. So you don't want to pull the bottom out. So you pull the top out like that. Here you go. Put the caliper safely aside. I'll put it on top of here. That's fine. Uh, right, so you can see the back of the pads. The pad towards the back of the rotors have more material on them than towards the front. So we're just going to replace them anyway, right? So we got the pads out. There you go. The pads. The new brake pads came with the new hardware kit, so I'm just going to take these off. A bit of this rust off. Clean it up a little bit. This surface here, if you can, that would be great. And the one that come with it. So, alright, so let's clean this up. I'm just going to install this NTC here a little bit. Brush it on. And what I want to do this for is when I take the older clips. When those clips get older enough and um, you want to take them off, honestly, they're a lot easier to come off. There we go. First one is on. Perfect. You got it clipped on. That's right. Okay. So when we install these pads, we gotta put uh, insert the pads this top hook under here. First, you line it up at the bottom on the channel like this, and then over here we just push it on under the channel, and this should look something like this. Since the brake pads are installed, now it's time to push the both pistons back in. I use the old pads to sit against them 
and then push them back in. That's how I do it. It just might happen. I don't know. I'm going to clean these edges off here and, and apply anti-seize and put the caliper back in. So bring the caliper down, sit it at the bottom, and then from the top you just drop it in. And this latch is under here so it doesn't come off, come out is easy. And just uh, install your bolt back in. I'm going to apply anti-seize a little bit more on it and tighten them up. There's your bolt. Okay. The job is complete. I just got to clean the surface up a little bit. And the customer brought me some brake cleaner. I'm going to use that to clean this up. Well, here we go. Brake pads installed in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels back on and uh, let's go start on the other side So this here is the passenger side of the front rotor and front brake system. I noticed the hardware at the bottom Is here, but this hardware should be on top anyway, but the hardware on top is missing It doesn't even have a top hardware but brake pads are installed. I just don't know how long they've been installed. So I'll be using the same procedure here. I don't want to make a video about it. But there's no hardware on here. So one thing I noticed is both sides of the calipers have a damage on their rubber seals. Not leaking, but they're damaged. So it could be possible that when the brake pads were installed the rubbers were sticking out like that and they weren't pushed back in and when you push the caliper on um, it, it cut into the rubber so you can see how bad it is right now I don't see any leaks that's the only thing I can report go I got the brake pads installed with the new hardware no longer missing the hardware on top we're just going to install the caliper, clean it up, and tighten it up. Open, loosen that one. We've got one right here. Loosen that one. Okay. Just take them out by hand. second one out so right now I'm going to try to put my knee on the rotor pull it forward and let's see if it works for me if it's smart enough there we go sorry it's a bit difficult but we got it out all right and the caliper is leaking from there we're going to replace that Next thing is we need to re remove the caliper mount bracket. We have two big bolts for that. Loosen that and mount bracket comes out. We'll add new pads and the caliper back in. Now I gotta bleed this caliper and since I am the only person here and I don't have anybody to help me pump the brakes and uh, come back and tighten the nipple all the time, I'm going to go ahead and use my trusty tool for brake bleeding it's been handy before so I gotta attach this nipple here gotcha okay I'm gonna open the up first let's create a vacuum perfect open this leader valve Perfect. And you can see I wait till we use thirty fuel uh, uh third line of fuel, I mean fluid, which it looks like we got it right there. Okay, 
That's it. I'm going to tighten the nipple and we're done. 